Please subscribe our channel. Please share it with your near and dear. Now let us see what uh, tense takes what B forms. Okay, here let me draw one table for you to make it clear. Okay, these are the B forms according to tenses we have to use. Okay, now let me give uh, examples and you can understand. I will take only one sentence, single sentence. Taking single sentence, I will apply all these uh, tenses also so that you can understand what the passive voice is. Just like Columbus discovered America is a simple past sentence. They learnt English is also simple past sentence. Subject is they. Learnt is we to here. We to they learnt. They learnt. Okay. As per this one, this is active voice. This is active voice sentence. And now let us uh, see the passive voice of it. They learnt English. So according to our rules, object of uh, active voice sentence should be changed as subject. So as per that, English, English, then when <coughs> subject plus V2 structure is there, subject plus V2 structure is there, B forms what we have to take are, was or were. If subject is singular, was. If subject is plural, were. So English is here, subject singular. So we have to take was. English was was and here learnt is second form v2 form v2 but we need here v3 so v3 form is always in passive voice we have to use v3 of the main verb v3 of this main verb learn is v1 form learnt is v2 and again learnt is v3 so i am taking now v3 it seems to be the same, but it is V2 and this is V3. Okay. English was learnt by they changes, uh, changes into them. We have already seen this one also as per table. So I draw the table also, no? As per the table, when it is in subjective case, when it is going as an object, it should be maintained into objective case okay subjective case they change it into objective case them so as per our rules we have changed this one okay english was learnt by them english was learnt by them this is passive voice they learnt english is active voice english was learnt by them is passive voice and let us take some more examples uh, for example simple present if i take they learn they learn english i am taking only learn subject plus v1 they learn subject plus v1 so then <coughs> what it should be is am are b forms okay if subject is singular is if subject is i am if subject is plural are so as you know it so clearly because when we learnt uh, simple present uh, you could see all these things also. Okay, as per that you see here, they learn English. So the same, English is common here. Okay, English. And then here, instead of was learnt, learnt is common only. Because always we have to use third form of this verb only. So learn, learnt, learnt. Third form is the same. But we are changing only now B form. So, what is the B form? Subject plus V1. Subject plus V1. B form is MR. English is singular. So, we are taking here English is learnt by them. Just before now, English was learnt by them, but now it is English is learnt by them. Okay, and in the same way, let me change the things also. So, model verbs, for example, they will learn. They will learn. This is future tense, no? They will learn English. So then, when orders are, model verbs are there, B form is B. Uh, then, <coughs> only this, this is changed. 
they will learn english english to to show that it is future we have to use again will they english will then before this v3 form we have to use b form b okay english will be learnt by them so as you observe them is the same english is also the same and the third form is also the same only thing what we observe here is just uh, we are changing only b forms we are changing only b forms here so as per this uh, they will learn english english will be learn third form learnt learnt by them in this way okay let us see some more also and by that you can understand a few more for example they can learn they can learn english they can learn english is they the same english instead of will what is here can is they english can again the same model verbs no will shall may might can could has to have to had to all these are model verbs only we have already learnt all these things okay for all these model verbs we have to use only be before this v3 form we have to use be and to say that it is a model verb can we have to use again can then okay english can be learnt by them this is the thing here okay and in the same way for example uh, if it is a uh, uh, they should they should learn english is they then again english instead of can what do we use should be english should be learnt by them this is the way and uh, <clears throat> if it is orders if it is orders now uh, then order sentences generally subject is missed subject is missed okay learn english when subject is missing here so this is order sentence learn english uh, then okay we have to use here a little difference is there a little difference is there here so when uh, subject is missing here u is understood really so when uh, no subject is here in orders like that u is understood you learn english really so these are called order sentences and request sentences are also there and other imperative sentences like suggest you or advise sentences are also there as per this it seems it seems to be order sentence <coughs> for orders we have to use first uh, let same english let english b form is b let english be learn third form is again the same learnt let let english be learnt that's enough let english be learnt so this is a order sentence with b form b so we have to take a, a word let at the beginning of the sentence by this we can post the letter for example post the letter let the letter be posted let the letter be posted so these are all of such kind of uh, sentences okay now we are coming again to uh, write the same uh, <clears throat> for example you see infinitive sentences may also be there infinitives for example you see they infinitive means 2 plus v1 2 plus v1 they are to are to learn they are to learn english for example they are to learn english to learn v1 to learn v1 2, <coughs> 2 plus v1 2 plus v1 infinitive this is okay they are to learn english uh, then again the same just like before english to say that it is a infinitive like of sentence we have to use a is am r is am r of the same group no when r is there here subject is singular this is used for plural this is used for plural but english is subject uh, subject and it is singular then we have to use is english is to the same b form is b learn third form learnt right english is to be learnt by them the same so this is passive voice the same english 
is to be to be to be learnt so instead of are we have used here is english is to be learnt by them so in this way we can i i'll take one perfect sentence also i mean uh, any perfect uh, perfect tenses they have for example learnt they have learnt english the same english right okay to say this is perfect tense has or have we have to take have is there for the same group has is there so subject plural so have is there when subject is singular we have to take has so english has and b form is here for perfect tenses been english has been learnt by them this is the same for example they had learnt english had been learnt by them this is the way of uh, using it for example they will have learnt english they will have learnt english then english will have been english will have been learnt by them this is the way here and uh, now let us come to continuous tenses like uh, present continuous or past continuous for example they are learning english they are learning english and here the same english so when it is continuous tense b form is being so here they is subject and it is plural so r is used but when it is singular is we have to use no english is then b form is being being english is being learnt by them if it is past they were learning english english was being learnt by them so these are all the ways of uh, okay uh, you see transforming the sentences from active voice to passive voice okay and uh, <clears throat> here so this this is the way of uh, okay transformation and now let us see um, <clears throat> some passive voice sentences without by plus subject object now let us see passive voice passive voice without by plus object right let me so without a by plus object passive voice generally day to day life we use more so general passive voice sentences are really rarely used but passive voice without agent or by with <coughs> without by plus object is more useful in our day to day life let me give examples for that so for example we have already learned columbus discovered america columbus discovered america so this is active voice sentence as we have already seen okay the passive voice for this is america was discovered by columbus this is passive voice sentence but what i say here without by and object without by and object we use passive voice in our day to day life the most this is passive voice only america was discovered we don't want by whom america was discovered so we can make a sentence in this way after america was america was discovered after america was discovered many europeans many europeans migrated to the country this is more useful in our day to day life 
after america was discovered america was discovered so we are taking passive wise only but without by plus object without by plus object is also passive wise only okay but this is more useful in our day to day life after america was discovered many europeans migrated to the country and in the same way for example graham bell invented phone graham bell invented phone the passive wise for that phone was invented by graham bell phone was invented phone was invented is the passive wise uh, we can take in this way after phone was invented after phone was invented revolutionary changes have come in it sector revolutionary changes have come into it sector so that passive wise is more useful in this way so in our day to day life passive wise without by plus object is more useful okay this is so widely used in our day to day life and okay and now we have learnt uh, how to transform active wise sentence into passive wise also and we have seen uh, the importance of uh, uh, you see uh, passive wise without by plus object also and now let's come to questions part so for example you see questions the same for example now we have seen passive wise of uh, columbus discovered america is america was discovered by america was discovered discovered by columbus this is passive wise but questions are also possible in passive wise in what way look at this one america was what's the question for this yes or no type question was america was america discovered was america discovered by columbus was america discovered by columbus and other wh questions are also possible for example you say why if you use why why was america discovered by columbus and uh, you can take when when was america discovered no need of by columbus uh, if you want you can when was america discovered by columbus okay and by whom especially questions like uh, you see by whom by whom was america discovered we don't use this sir. by whom was america discovered answer is by columbus in this way we can put questions also for example if it is negative sentence america was not discovered by columbus okay wasn't america discovered by columbus like that okay so positive and negative questions are also possible in passive wise by this we have completed active and passive wise thank you for watching this channel we'll meet in the next episode